I've been staring at the edge of the water for as long as I can remember, never really knowing why. Seriously, they put Moana on Netflix and I have had this song in my head nonstop for four days. Four. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click that big old red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload because we're singing Moana here and everybody loves Moana, right? Here's hoping I never love Moana as much as I love Frozen. We're headed in that direction though. So I am here to give you my August budget update. Woo woo, we made it through August. It's not good, it's bad. I may skip the budget meeting because Mauricio is gonna get really mad at me, but oh well. He'll see this video and, and then he'll know. It's like a confessional here. As I always do, I'm gonna go over my overages or my unplanned expenses or my screw ups. And then at the end, I will go over each budget category. So let's jump on in to this nightmarish debacle of finances we call August. Cause this is embarrassing. And I'm just gonna tell you what I did. First one, car wash service. Mauricio didn't cancel it. They charged us. I'm mad. I made up for it with some inappropriate spending this month. Can't be too mad on the $54.99 in car wash spending when you see some of the other expenses I've had this month. We spent $16.05 at Sonic. The day we went to the storage unit, it went badly. We consoled ourselves with Sonic and I'll link that video up in the eye in the sky if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but probably most of you have already seen it. But we ended up consoling ourselves with Sonic after that whole nightmare, and that was again 16.05. Then we have 84.59 for work lunches out. Seriously, I think I'm gonna put this as a line item. It seems to be right about the same amount every month. It it just is what it is, and it's something I'm just gonna have to suck it up. So I really need to write it in, but I keep hoping that like every month it will not happen and then it keeps happening. So that's just the way we're gonna go. Then we had $12 for Mauricio to take the Metro in. Um, if you don't know what the Metro is, it's like the subway. He had to go to headquarters, his headquarters. And so he hopped the Metro to do that um, because parking by headquarters is, is an awful, traffic it's horrible there so he took the metro to avoid parking there then i i think it was last month um i mentioned that melina woke up one morning and her feet had changed sizes and we didn't have uh enough shoes and we had to run out well there was a debate about whether we were going to get sandals or not and we decided to go ahead and get her some sandals but we hadn't put it in the budget and so we got sandals at $29.65. They're Keens and it, I would go and get them, but Lena's already in bed and I don't wanna bother her. But we went ahead and got these adorable little Keens and we do spend a lot of money when we buy those sandals. I bought them a little bit big so she can grow a little bit. But these sandals, we bought them ever since she could walk. They are the most durable sandals and they have them at Nordstrom Rack Room usually. I bought them on Amazon. I bought them pretty much everywhere. But they are fantastic and we got them in a multicolor so they'll match tons of clothes. Then one day Mauricio had to pay for parking and that was $11. That's just one of those things that are going to happen every once in a while. We had $7.93 in there for McDonald's for Molina one day. I don't even remember why they went out for McDonald's, but I wasn't there. And then one day on the way to work, Mauricio decided he wanted to stop for breakfast at McDonald's. Um, we hadn't been to the grocery store and we had no breakfast foods and he wanted, and I don't know, bacon, egg and cheese biscuit, I think, or something like that. So that was 9.41 and FYI, the Egg McMuffin is about the healthiest thing on that menu for breakfast. And that's a lot of points, especially if you eat it with a hash brown. 
Now, this next expense was an expensive one. I was, I, I knew it was coming, but I didn't want to do it. I didn't, and I procrastinated and procrastinated. I don't know why. Maybe I thought it would just go away if I, you know, didn't pay it. I don't know if I didn't put it in the budget, but I have an external hard drive, which I use to back up most of my data and it's almost full and I needed another one. And it's a four terabyte. So that was 128.76. I love the one I have. So I wanted to get the same one. It was actually $25 cheaper than the last one I got. So, and then um, with our final dental bills coming in, we ended up spending 439.60. I think I had budgeted $450 in there for that. So uh, that was a pretty good guesstimate. The next one was $159.71 uh, for medication in a pharmacy. And you'll notice that it's in, that pharmacy is in Spanish. It's farmacia. And basically the reason is while I was in Mexico, I needed to get some eye drops and I had a bunch of prescriptions in my purse that I hadn't gotten filled. And medication in Mexico is so significantly cheaper that I can actually buy medication out of pocket for usually less than my copay. And I have some pretty expensive medications that I take. And so I went ahead and had them fill because you don't have to wait in Mexico. You just hand them. You don't even have to have a prescription actually, but I happen to have prescriptions for all these medications. So I just showed them what I needed. They brought it out to me five minutes later. I paid for it. And then I fill out the paperwork and I have my insurance reimburse me. And because it's so much cheaper, I usually get 100% of that money back unless there's an issue. But even if one of the medications wasn't covered, it'd be like $10. So it was totally worth it to me. I hadn't initially planned on doing that. It just kind of worked out that way. And I am so glad I did it. So I should be getting that $159.71 back in. But I will be plugging that in to next month's budget when that check comes in. I'll just plug it in as income. And then I had a $35 copay at a dermatologist. Mauricio had a $25 copay at the dermatologist. And I think we're both done with all our dermatology visits. So the next one is $240.45 for my portion of my echocardiogram. I have, I'm sure I have told y'all, well, I know I have in last month's budget, I think, I don't even remember when it was, but I um, had to go to a cardiologist and they did an echocardiogram and a stress test and I had to wear a halter monitor. And what I have is actually an extra heartbeat, which apparently is not at all abnormal, but in times of stress, that extra heartbeat is really strong. And so I was feeling it. And so uh, the halter monitor caught it and apparently had it during recovery during the stress test as well. So they said it is nothing to worry about that most people have them. You just don't normally feel them. But um, my peaks when I was feeling them were really high. When I didn't feel them and I was having them, they weren't as high, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Well, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on WebMD. So those are all our weird overages, except for a couple in categories, which I'm going to deal with right now. Our utilities started out at 541.60 and ended up at 472. And the reason for that difference is that we got rid of that second storage unit that um, I talked about in that video, the storage unit video. And once we got rid of that, that dropped our payment way down. Transportation started out at 160, ended up at 359. The reason for that is we had to do oil changes, oil change, rotate the tires, fluids, whatever, what have you on my expedition because we lent it to my sister-in-law for um, a period of time while they save up to buy a car because I'm not using it and at least it'll get driven and I won't have to worry about going out there and starting it and everything. So, and having it just sit in front of the house. So it actually works out really well that she's gonna use that for a while. Melina's category started out at $2,219 and finished 
up at $1,563. The difference was the last week of August, I had the camp fee before care and swimming and there was no last week. And then on the actual last week of camp, they did not charge me for before care swimming because um, it was a three day week. And so they didn't charge the, uh, the fee for that. And then the camp fee was a lot lower. So I just, I didn't realize that. So that's why that was, but don't get too excited at that difference in money because I definitely spent it. That money actually saved us with, with a couple of categories, which you'll see in a minute. Our miscellaneous category started out at 724 and came in at 720. Our total debt payment started out at $5,150 and ended up at $5,186.60. So that was good. It was 30 extra dollars to um, debt. The cushion category started out at $300 and came in at $215. So that was under, and I think that might be the first time our cushion category has been under in a long time, but $215 is way, way, way over what I normally put in there. Then the YouTube channel, I had $2448 budgeted for that, and that ended up being $153.24. And that was that extra um, external hard drive that I talked about earlier. Um, now let's discuss where all that extra money went from Melina's school. In our medical category, I had set $450 aside mostly for dental expenses and that ended up being $910. That was a good chunk of that money. And then the other overage was in um, our stores category. It started out at $190 and ended up at $638.70. What? Yeah. Um, so here's what Wendy learned about herself this month. There is a reason why we put all of our debt payment at the beginning of the month, because I have learned through the course of this 18 month, well, almost 18 months on this program, that when I have extra money, I tend to spend it. And so I knew I had extra money in the budget. And so I was like, well, we need to get this for Melina for school and that for Melina. Oh, and I don't have any labels for Melina stuff. So let me buy these really cute ones for Melina on Amazon. You know, the, the kind that cost like $10. I could print out free labels. I have a label maker but I had to have cute labels. I mean, seriously. So little things like that, they end up adding up. I ended up getting, you know, a couple of new water bottles for Millie and some ice packs for her lunches. And, and instead of one lunchbox, I decided she needed two because, you know, in case one's being washed. Um, it just, it, things that I didn't have to spend the money on, but I spent it on it anyway. So, 100 of those dollars were grocery store purchases that I just didn't plan. I didn't plan for them. I decided I wanted to go to Trader Joe's and get some lunch stuff for Mauricio and I to make some nice healthy lunches and I didn't plan on it. So 100 of that $638 is Trader Joe's more or less. It was a little bit less but right around there. But the rest of it inappropriate spending. So what else? Our insurance and taxes category is $47.83 and finished up at $47.83 because I mean who's gonna ever spend on insurance and taxes? Not me. And our sinking funds started out at $7.25 and they ended up at $7.25 and that seems like so much money to go to sinking funds. It really does like way more than I want to spend but I'm happy to have the sinking funds there and they'll be good for me in the future so you know I I'm I'm gonna keep up with them but I think I will feel more comfortable with that once we're out of debt like I'll be totally cool with sinking funds once we're out of debt I'm sure 
So that is our month in spending and whew, what a month it was. I am not proud of myself. I am not. I am ashamed of myself. I am ashamed of my inability to control my impulse spending. The weight and spend concept out the window this month and I need to do that. We'll have the budget meeting before this actually comes out so I will confess that yeah I, I should film it so you can see how mad he's gonna be when he sees this because that's you know what 400 350 400 dollars that could have gone to debt. Now it's time for bed. I am done 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 for the night. Holy cow it's only 8 20. It feels like midnight. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This one is my latest video and this one is one that YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!